What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to a mobile episode of the GTP podcast. What up, what up, what up? We're back again. We're in my car. We're at lunch right now. Yes. We're just making this work because we didn't post yesterday on Sunday. Our bad. I was out of town. He was out of town. My bad. With his children, man, you gotta, you gotta, it's for the kids. For the children. Right? We said, absolutely, we'll postpone the video till Monday. So we're gonna film today, post today, just like real rapid, rapid pace. As soon as I get home, or as soon as I get home, I'm gonna go ahead and upload this one. I'm so excited. It's like, what episode is this? Episode nine, I think. Nine? Is it, is it nine? Let me see. Let me make sure. Have we done six check. together already? Yeah. Dude, that's dope. We've man. done so many. We had. We're up to 52 subscribers. We gained like one. That's okay. This is actually episode 10. Let's go. Episode 10, season two. We're back. Is there something on my head? No, that's just the back. <laughs> you know there's something on your head? I thought that was something on my head. Look, like in the camera, it looks like there's something on my head. Oh, it kind but of it's just, a little, just a little hand thing. It's just the handle in the background. <laughs> I was like, what? My God. NBA playoffs is here. It's here, and it was an exciting weekend it was oh my god it was a good weekend i've been saying this since like i, I love playoff basketball like when we're in playoff basketball mm -hmm. you just know you're in playoff basketball it has nothing like it march madness has nothing on nba playoffs man i don't know like march madness is like crazy but like nba playoffs the playoffs oh <laughs> like this Let's i looked at the playoffs the standings from this year eastern and western conference and i was like this is about to go crazy. I was like, this year, these like the only downside is that there's no Mavericks in the playoffs, which is kind of a bummer. But I mean, what do you expect? Here's what it is: you got two really good scores. Terrible move. No defense. No wings to defend. No three and D guys. Nobody. Yeah. And <sighs> bro, they went from the fourth spot to like eleven. Out of, yeah, just just out, out of the play-in. And then it by spot. they got fined seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. The organization, you heard about that? For tanking? For tanking, they God, sat Luca in like the whole crazy. second half of that last game. If they won, they would have been in the play-in. But they were like, nah, we're not. We don't want to play. And we're just like, dang, okay. Well, they felt the type of way about it, yeah. and I'm sure Mark Cuban's pissed. Oh God. Seven hundred fifty k. How much do you think he feels that being? A billionaire. It's probably like twenty bucks to him. <laughs> probably. I mean Here you go, Adam Silver. <laughs> like oh, man. Here you go, Adam Silver. Just take your money. They're trying to enter the Wembenyamo sweepstakes, man. Probably. But how yeah. can you how can you like confirm that someone tanked? Like how can you prove that? Yeah, you can't prove it really. You're like, oh like we were already losing by like twenty points. Like why wouldn't we sit Luca? Because what if he got hurt? Yeah. It's almost a little too obvious because I think he played he only played a few minutes he played like, in the first uh, half. Yeah, he played like the yeah. first quarter and then like the very, he didn't even think he played the second quarter. No. It was very obvious, but still. Like, Dang. you shouldn't consider a team tanking if they sat their best player. Like, that should be to the, like, LeBron sits out all the time. AD sits out all the time. Right. But, I mean, it's LeBron. Load management, man. Load management. That's so <laughs> soft. Man, just play the game. Play the game. Man. Like, people, we talked about this on a recent episode when we were talking about like, the guys that were back in the league then, like 90s, early 2000s, yeah. there ain't no such thing as load management. No. Nah. you just playing. No, nah, I heard uh, Paul George talk about this in, on JJ Reddick's podcast. Mm -hmm. and, like, just the science of, oh, taking off my badge. Just the science <laughs> of, like, how, how much more we know about each other's bodies and how much 82 games wears and tears on an athlete's body. Um, is the reason why most teams are doing that load management and sitting their stars. So sure. they have longer careers, but you know those longer careers, they don't seem as exciting as those shorter MJ they don't. careers, <clears throat> uh, shorter T Mac years. Uh, T Mac, Kobe back in the day when he, I mean he was playing through stuff. That's what I'm saying, man. But he did that so long. Yeah. Like I mean. But even even if load management was an option for those yeah. guys, I don't think they would have. They wouldn't done have it. done it. No, no they would have been like load it. management. They'd been like, I'm gonna play. I'm fine. I played to win the game. Like I just watched that <laughs> video the other day where Kobe like he went to go for a loose ball and he jammed his finger and broke it, or like dislocated it or whatnot. And then his trainer Set just walked back. over there and was just like, Yeah. He was like, Good right job, back kid. In the game. And yeah. he's like, All right, went yeah, back out yeah. there and just balled out. Like taped. I don't even think he taped it up. Like that dude is a menace. 
But no, okay, so on the on this subject of NBA, we're going to kind of go through the teams that are in the playoffs and give our predictions for the first round. I, I think that that's fair. Okay. I think that as we film these every week, we'll kind of just give more updates on the playoffs. Yeah. But we'll start from the top, round one. Nets, 76ers. Bro, the 76ers got it. You saw they dominated game one. Yeah. James Harden, he had a double-double. Not quite a triple-double yet, but... um. They were balling. They hit 21 threes, which is the most three-pointers in Philadelphia's playoff history. Yeah, the so. 76ers are going to sweep. You think they'll sweep? Them? They're going to sweep. They got nobody to guard Embiid, so they were doubling him. Yeah. Hardly any. I know, oh, I know. And then he got into a fight with, uh, uh, who was it? I literally just watched the highlight of it the other day. Um, homeboy from, not Prince. God dang. I missed it. I didn't see the fight. What's his name? Was it a good fight? No, it wasn't really a fight. It was just a little scuffle. There was even there was even a fight last night in the Nuggets game. But I'll, we'll get to them. I watched the oh, Nuggets are just balling, balling. Okay, Hawks and Celtics. Oh, the Celtics are gonna sweep them. Celtics are gonna sweep them. Yeah. I agree. Knicks yeah. and Cavaliers. This one is Bro. the one for me. This is the dark horse matchup because yeah. you would want to say Cavaliers. You know, you got um, you got a good squad. They got a great squad. They do. Donovan Mitchell, Spida. I'm Game like, one was really close. I think, I feel like that one may go six. May go six? May go six. Who's who he got winning? The Knicks. Got the Knicks winning in six. I, The Knicks are surprisingly decent. I hope the Knicks win the, the whole thing. Really? Yeah, I want, I want D. Rose to get a ring. He's still on the team. He gets a whole lot of DNPs, man. I, I want forgot D Rose I forgot to was... get a ring. Yo. I don't know. That's not really who I want. How do you feel? That'd be so awesome. How do you think he would feel though getting a ring on a team where he didn't contribute as much? Do you feel like that would he would feel that? I feel like he would he would think it's just like another piece of jewelry. Just another piece of jewelry. If he had won an NBA championship with the Bulls. With Chicago, that'd be different. <sighs> oh. That'd be different. And he played. And if he was playing a major role, I feel like that would be different than just getting a ring. I hope he. I hope the, the bench. I hope the Bulls get it together like real soon, and then they send D Rose back over there with a solid squad, but put him in a really strong like facilitator six man yeah. role. Win him a ring. It would not be bad. Backing up uh, Lonzo Ball if he can get back on the court next year. I hope he can because Lonzo Ball was getting his stride. He was yeah. in his stride, and he's they're gonna be better when yeah. he's back for sure. Okay, Warriors Kings. Warriors Kings, man. Game one was really good. 126, 123. I feel like Steph had enough time to set his feet mm -hmm. on that last jumper to send it to overtime instead of floating it. But I feel like if they steal one in Sacramento, it will go Warriors in six. Bro, I got the Kings winning this matchup. Yo. I got the Kings winning this matchup. They are just like, it would be just like the Cinderella story. Like Sacramento has been yeah. in a drought for years. And 16 now they, years. Their first playoff win in 16 years was this weekend, which is dope. But they've got De'Aaron Fox. They've got role players coming off the bench. They're deep. Malink they got Monk, Sabonis. Miles, Malink Monk. Yeah. Like, they are just... My God! Like so, I when I look at the Kings, I think about the the double overtime game that they had with the Clippers. Yeah, that was like a pretty strong that was Clippers a really team. Really good game. Like that was yeah. Paul George, Kawhi, and Russell Westbrook all healthy, all playing. Double OT, fourth quarter, Fox mm -hmm. can't touch them. And I have a feeling that all these Warriors and 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 Kings games are gonna go to the fourth quarter. Oh, absolutely! And now you're putting the ball in the air in Fox's hands versus Steph Curry, and it's gonna be up. Gunfight. It's gonna be. But I got Kings in seven. Okay. Kings in seven. I think regardless, it's gonna be a really great high-scoring series. Oh. My I don't God. know if we'll have a game in that series below a hundred points. Oh, no doubt, no doubt. Oh, and then this next bracket, this uh, it's got the winner of the the whole NBA Finals. We got the Lakers and the Grizzlies. Oh, you got the Grizzlies winning the whole thing? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. I think the Lakers are gonna not sweep, but I think that they're gonna beat the the Grizzlies, especially if Jaws hurt and like oh, out. Yeah, yeah. I think that they win in five games. Really? Five games. You got two in Memphis, two in LA. They're gonna win it in Memphis, they're and if they it don't, it'll be in six in LA. Dang. I I think the Lakers will win that series. I don't know if it'll be in five though. In five, I'm telling you. 
It's got to be in five. five. Got to be. Keep them legs fresh. Man, they got a healthy LeBron, a healthy AD, a, oh, a healthy-ish AD. Man, it's... Reeves and Hachimura really balled out. They're stepping game. up. They really did. Stepping Hachimura up had big. 29 points, Reeves 23. Did you see him after hitting the bucket going, I'm him. Oh, yeah. I'm him. That was dope. Timothy Green. Timothy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Heat Bucks. Bro. Oh, wait, no, who did you say? Is it Memphis or Lakers? I I think the Lakers will beat Memphis, especially if Jaw is hurt. Okay. Um, I think the make the Lakers were gonna beat though, even with a healthy Jaw. I think so too. But now that Jaw's hurt, for sure. Now it's a easy money. Yeah. I mean, if, I feel like five games is not a bad prediction. It's not. I think it's close. I think it'll be close. I hope. Yeah. I mean, we'll see. Okay, Heat Bucks. Who you got? Heat Bucks. I think the Bucks are gonna bounce back, and probably win this series in five. Yeah, I think the Bucks are going to dominate. Tyler Hero got hurt, um, but I think the Bucks are about to win four straight. I think I think the Bucks are going to dominate this Wait, series. Wait, Giannis got hurt too. Yeah, so I heard, but I don't know, man. It's like they got Jimmy buckets on one side, and then they got Giannis. If he's out, they got Middleton and Drew Holiday. Yeah, but it could really go either way. I could see that series going either way. I don't know, man. We'll see. The but, Heat are interesting. Like when they're hot, like when Struess is hitting, and uh, when Hero, when he's Bam, playing, Bam, like what, they can get hot and they're streaky. Mm. But they also can get very cold. I've seen them get really cold, and if they key, like if the team playing them keys in on Jimmy Butler, and the mm -hmm. role players aren't shooting the ball well, mm -hmm. it, it'd be tough for Miami. So that's I think the Bucks will bounce back and probably win in five. I've seen some of the worst basketball games with the Heat playing. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like I'm not like I'm not even saying that. Like I'm not even not 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 a Heat fan or whatever. But I've seen or I've watched a couple Heat games and it's just been like embarrassing Can to watch. Can y'all get up? Like they bucket. couldn't score. Like they were yeah. like three for forty from yeah. three. I'm like, what the what hell? Y'all get paid millions and y'all this what y'all doing? Can't shoot a three ball to save their lives. Oh man, that's some about. nights. Some nights they can't. Clippers and Suns. Clippers and Suns, man. I loved Russell Westbrook's energy last night. He was on it. He was on it. That I just was... think it's so po perfect that he's yeah. playing against KD again. Me too, yeah. In the first round of the playoffs. I was a little bit surprised with the outcome because I honestly expected the Suns to win game one. Yeah. But In Phoenix. Yeah, bro. But the fact that the Clippers stole one without PG, that... They look different. And and Kawhi Leonard, bro, looked like he was carrying the Toronto Raptors back in 2020. Mm. You know, he was looking he looked really good. He looked strong. He looked I, really like Kawhi good. was not playing around and neither was Russell Westbrook. I think that there's just Russell Westbrook has always had that dog in him. Yeah. And I think that he kind of felt like people were giving up on him in the yeah. league. So now he's got the most to prove. Most to prove. And he's playing chip. against KD. Yep. And he's and he doesn't really like D book DeAndre Ayton like he yeah. like he's got to just stop, like make yeah. his stuff up in his brain yeah. to like go out there and he iced the game with two free throws and he blocked Devin Booker and threw it off of him to just double ice yeah. it like that was yeah. yeah Clippers and six Clippers and six Clippers that, and six that's a shoot I think it's gonna go to seven but I think the Clippers win I feel like if I Russell so. will he, like he was three for nineteen last night. If he accepts the fact that, yo, sometimes my jumper is just not on. You get to like 3 for 10. Hey, bro, I'm a, <laughs> I got Eric Gordon on the wing. I got Powell. I got, bro, you got Terrence Mann. You got Kawhi Leonard. You got other guys out there who can shoot the ball well. Yeah. He can defend. He can rebound. And he can set, make plays, set his teammates up. I think if he just focuses on making plays for his teammates, getting rebounds, and defending the hell out of D-Book. Yeah. He's going to be a problem. Yeah, yeah. And I think that that's not like, there's no discredit to the Suns, but I I personally, I think Kevin Durant is probably one of my least favorite players in the league currently. Really? really? Like, I'll give him his flowers. He's a great scorer. Probably going to go down as probably the best pure scorer of all time. Probably. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but... I just he's seven foot can play inside outside man is just a yeah. slimy kind of guy I don't know dude like I just I don't respect his his moves I don't like I, I I'm like cool man you win yeah. these championships but people are gonna just forever discredit yeah. all of his rings so far 
And if he wins with the Suns and they win a ring, discredit. Hmm. Like because he did. He's got the talent within him to go to any team in the league. Absolutely. And make them a winning franchise. Absolutely. I think a ring. If he were to win a ring, it would be more meaningful to Chris Paul than it would be for and, anyone and, else and his legacy than it would be for KD's legacy. Exactly. Like. In my opinion, I think that like Katie's already made some very like suspect moves, like just in general, like that. Oh, this, this probably just gotta be like the most frustrating thing ever. Like as a fan of the game, like super teams are gonna happen. Super teams are gonna be a thing. Yeah, they're everywhere. But like Kevin Durant should not be able to just move himself wherever the the best super team is. Yeah, that's and true. people don't say anything about it. Yeah, like and that, that only so makes saying something about it. It only makes something even worse. Yeah, so I'm saying something about it. I feel like people have a lot of people have the same like views as me, but imagine you lose to a team after you blow a three-one lead yeah. and then you join them next year. I got too much pride to do that, man. Granted, that they became probably one of the best NBA teams of all time. They definitely did. They won two in a row. But that doesn't mean that it wasn't still slimy. Yeah. Like it wasn't like man. Without KD, we've already had this conversation too. Without KD, that team probably doesn't win as many chips. But, but he didn't need to do all that. And then now, what did he do? He went to Brooklyn, started another super team. He had James Harden and Kyrie Irving at one point. Then they all dispersed. And where did he go? Phoenix, Phoenix Suns. I just don't understand the moves. I don't love it. Either. Why would you want to go to? I don't know. I don't get it. I, I wish I could understand. I, mean, I think. As fans, we want to see competitive, give it all you got basketball. Yeah. And when there's super team here, super team there, super team here, you could pick three or four teams who have the ability to win the championship based on their super teams, right? And it just doesn't make basketball fun. No. But with as wide open as the West has been this year, oh. I, and especially the Clippers beating them last night, I don't, I think the, it's wide open, man. It I, is. I have no idea who's going to win the title this year. And that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> I, I agree. Like, that. This. that's why I'm so excited for the playoff basketball this yeah. year. Because every game could go any way at any, any way, point. Yeah. And that's early on, too. Like, right now. Like, any bracket that we've just talked about so far could go any way. Any way. Either way. Except Boston and Atlanta. Because Boston is just going to trounce it. Yeah, and then <laughs> the only Philly and Nets as well. <laughs> Philly but. and Nets. Actually, I take that back. The last bracket that we haven't, we haven't discussed yet, Timberwolves Nuggets. This is going to be a sweep. And it's not even going to be close. be close. If you watch the game I watched last night, the Nuggets just <laughs> dominated. Nuggets look good, huh? Dominated the Timberwolves. It, the score was 109 to 80. I think the Timberwolves have a lot of issues. Like they're fighting amongst each other. They're fighting the enemy. There was a fight. Like, there's no. <laughs> that was a fight that happened yesterday. The same yeah. dude that Rudy punched. <laughs> Punch, elbowed another guy in the face. Like, this he is, elbowed Christian Brown, man. I don't think they want to play anymore this season. They just trying. They're just done. Doing everything they're missing they can Pat to, Bev, man. Doing everything Pat they Bev. can to get out of there, man. That's what's happening right now, and it was just weird because like he did that, like and, and the the guy that he did it to is a rookie for one on the yeah. Nuggets. Brown, yeah, he's a rookie, first year in the league. He had no reaction to what happened. He got elbowed in the face, and he literally just stood there like, like. But it almost reminded me of like when Kobe, like when he hey, did the ball fake. Yeah. Or like Matt Barnes did the ball fake in Kobe's face and he was just like. Didn't move. He's <laughs> like, what's up? Like, what yeah. are we doing? And then he just didn't flinch. Yeah. Same thing. He got elbowed in the face and he just stood there and was like. Didn't flinch. Didn't care at all. Went to go shoot his technical free throws. And the other guy was like, yeah, yo, my bad, Rook. <laughs> like, apologized to him. And, and everyone, like, all the announcers were blowing him up too because they were like, wow, like that is that is amazing. Like, this man was raised right. Like, he had yeah. no reaction. Like, he didn't exacerbate the situation. He was just a real true champion. I was like, but not only that, Jamal Murray was looking like Bubble Murray. <laughs> Jokic was getting anything he wanted. Anything he wanted against Cat and Rudy Gobert. It didn't matter who was guarding him. He was like, okay, pump fake, ball fake, spin move, bucket. Damn like, man. he was dominating. Michael Porter Jr. never saw a look he didn't like. He shoots <laughs> everything. It doesn't make him all the time, but he will shoot anything. You need that. Aaron Gordon, balling out. Great defender. Can't shoot for shit, but he's, he's, you know, he's doing okay. Nuggets he's a are freak gonna, athlete. Nuggets are going to win it all. You think so? That's my prediction. I think they're going to win it all. It, like, because it doesn't matter who wins out in the West after this, because they're going to beat the Timberwolves in four, have a bunch of time to rest. Because, God dang, Denver is so deep. Yeah. Their bench is cra Like, they have 
so many great wing players. They have Reggie Jackson as a backup point guard. Jeez, man. They have DeAndre Jordan as a backup center for Jokic when he needs a break. And they oh, – bro, I could just go on and on about how the Nuggets are a great team. but Can people, turn the AC on? Yeah. It is hotter than a boy boy. Is it? Shoo! There we go. But they have – um, what was it? They had – DeAndre Jordan was looking like Lob Angeles DeAndre Jordan. <laughs> Lob Angeles. They literally Jamal Murray literally drew up a play where he Lob City. He was like dribbling on the wing and then he like looked up and literally he had the time to go make eye contact with DeAndre Jordan. Everybody was solid looking at him. He was like They knew what was coming. He did a little head nod and was like and just threw it. And he was standing on the wing. Like he was just standing there dribbling and he just threw it up. DeAndre Jordan, double hand, bang. They're gonna win it all. Uh I think if they run into the Clippers, they'll have some problems. Why? Because, man, the Clippers will lock that up. No, nah, they won't. I think they will. Jamal the Murray Clippers will lock just up as deep. Westbrook. Clippers are just as deep. Okay. And th- I really, I still have a whole lot of faith in the Warriors. I can't count them out. And I think the Warriors can be. You can't them count out. them out, but they, last year, Warriors eliminated the Nuggets. Yeah. And it was deep in the playoffs. But, dude, the last three years, Nuggets have been knocking on the door. And this year, they got a couple more defenders, a couple more pieces. Oh, my God. But, yeah, last year, the Warriors dissected the, the Nuggets. <laughs> like, absolutely just shit on them. Like, Steph Curry was balling out every game. Poole was balling out every game. They didn't even have Klay Thompson, like, a healthy Klay Thompson. And, and Clay is looking really good, man. And I think getting Wiggins back is going to be really good for the Warriors. Yeah, real Plus... Convenient. He, he, didn't about, have any, he didn't have any legs the first game. And he lost by three points. He missed a potential game winning three ball. It's I think Shoot. he's gonna get back into game shape and the West is really a toss up. I see I just don't I just don't see it. I don't see it the happening. The West is a toss up. I think LA Lakers, LA Clippers, and the Golden State Warriors. And if Sacramento be, gets past the Warriors, I think those three te- four teams can beat Denver. The Nuggets? You think so? I really do. Okay, what, which team, in order, which team has the best chance of beating the Nuggets? The best chance of beating the Nuggets? I would say, okay, I think Boston is going to come out of the East. Okay, before we go even to the finals, who's okay. beating Nuggets in the Western Conference? Okay, in the West, if the Lakers get past the Grizzlies, I think the Lakers can beat them. If the Clippers can get past the Suns, they can beat the Nuggets. If I, I, honestly, Sacramento and Golden State, either of those teams, <laughs> oh. I really feel like Sacra- the winner of Sacramento and Golden State is going to be in the Western Conference Finals. And if it's Denver there, Sacramento or Golden State will beat Denver in seven games. Oh, I don't think so. Yeah, not this year. Maybe last year, like two last two years. Yes, absolutely, because we were just incomplete. You're incomplete. This year, we got everybody back. Everybody's balling. MPJ, Jamal Murray. These are names that we didn't have the last year. And we still made a run as deep as getting shut down by the Golden State Warriors right before the conference okay, finals. Okay, let's say, let's say Sacramento and Denver in the Western Conference Okay. Finals. Sabonis and Jokic. Easy does, matchup. Does that even out? Oh, okay. Jokic is going to dominate. Can Jamal Murray guard? De'Aaron Fox? De'Aaron Fox. Yes, he can. I don't think anybody in the league can guard Bro, De'Aaron Fox. No. That dude is too fast. Jamal Murray is, no. is quick as shit. Dude, like, who, think about okay, it. Okay, right? who's going to guard Malik Monk? Aaron Gordon. What do you mean? Why would you put a big on Malik Monk? Dude, that's the thing. Why wouldn't he play that's Harrison the Barnes? Thing. Aaron Gordon is a wing defender. He can he can guard anybody. He's guarded. He, he literally plays point guard as Jamal Murray swing into this two, the two guard. He is an agile beast. I know he's a freak athlete. And he is a, I know he's a he's big a, body. I know no one's going to drive athlete. past him and you're going to run straight. Here's another thing, too, right? Okay, so this I know year. He's a freak athlete, but Malik year, Monk is skilled. So is De'Aaron Fox. He comes They're off the bench. Both so he comes skilled. off the bench. And he scored 32 last night. Bro, but he's getting shut down by anybody. Anybody that wants. I hope that happens. KCP. I hope Sacramento and Denver. Kentavious Caldwell Pope. KCP will guard the shit out of Malik Monk. 
I think you're just talking this passionately about the Nuggets because you're from Colorado. You don't know Y'all, that. homies you don't know from me. Colorado. You don't know He's me. holding it down for the hometown team. Bro, I'm telling you. You, you want I'm your hometown team you. to win it all. This is the starting lineup for, for the Denver Nuggets because, and then this is, I'm going to bring up another point. Jokic, Jamal Murray, MPJ, KCP, Aaron Gordon, right? Those are four or five lengthy mother truckers. Those are some big dudes. They are lengthy. Some, some flying around all over in your face. And here's another thing. Here's a little taste of what we got yesterday because people were like, oh, wow, like the Nuggets, like the reason why they held the, the Timberwolves to 80 points, not because only they suck, but like they could be good. Cat, they got Cat, Rudy Gobert, whatever. Like they should be shooting better. They should be making, they should be shooting better, whatever. They got two bigs against Jokic. The worst front court ever. Regardless. Assembled together. Still. Oh, I agree. But re- and they got Anthony Edwards playing like trash. Anyways, he got locked up. Anthony Edwards' game he went got, way down because they got two twin towers covering up the paint. See, that's part of my solution. But they, Aaron Gordon, by himself, locked up Ant. By himself. Didn't need help. He can't go no, he can't drive because he he's drive. got no lanes. He couldn't there shoot. There are no lanes. Nothing. He couldn't do anything. The worst Jokic, thing that the Timberwolves did to Ant is got another big to just cover up that paint. Yeah, I don't know why they did that. It's terrible. But. This is what we saw yesterday that allowed Denver Nuggets to hold them to 80 points. This is what we saw. But are you comparing Sacramento Kings to the Timberwolves? I'm going to tell you why. Exactly why. Oh. Denver ran a zone last night instead of man-to-man, which they never do. They never, ever don't run man-to-man, uh, man-to-man defense, ever. Yesterday, they ran a shell defense with Jokic in the dead center, yeah. four people on the wings, double teaming everything. Just abs- like, and the, what this does is it just opens up the floor so much to think that they had two bigs, not one, but two bigs in the paint on both blocks. They could not get them the ball all game long. And if they did, guess who was right there? Jokic, getting blocks, getting steals, getting rebounds, just like that. And then on top of that, you got MPJ, Aaron Gordon crashing the boards if they put up a dumb shot. Yeah. And you got Jamal Murray and KCP just flying around. They got it's like a box in one yeah. zone. So they have like two and then two behind them and then Jokic's dead center. Yeah. They did not they let they weren't letting people shoot either because they were just flying around. Bruh. And you you do that to the Kings and you got Sabonis in the middle, he's gonna have to go one on one with Jokic for seven games. Bro, here's the thing. The Sacramento Kings play at such a fast pace. I don't think the Denver Nuggets can keep up with that pace. You cannot compare Jamal Murray speed to De'Aaron Fox's Bro, speed. You can't compare it. He is so fast. Bro, he is a, of course he's fast. He's a professional athlete, no, but no, he's no. not De'Aaron Fox fast. He, okay. It, no that's, like saying, Fox that's like saying, that's like saying this. Hold on. Time out. Shut up, Siri. That's like it's like man, this US Olympian is fast. He's the fastest man I've seen ever. Running up against Usain Bolt, that man might be fast, but he ain't Usain Bolt world class speed fast. Nobody's as fast as Darren There's Fox. There's a difference. Nobody's as fast as Darren And that's Fox. the thing. I think But Darren Fox ain't gonna win the game by himself. He's he's not. I'm not saying he's gonna win the game by himself. I'm saying speed. with his speed, yes, he can penetrate. But with that penetration, bro, he's got great vision. If he's when when the when when the ball gets into the paint, the defense collapses. Right, that leaves wide open three balls for bro. I think De'Aaron Fox not only so I think they match up well with the Warriors. The Warriors match up well with Sacramento. That's why I don't know who's gonna win there. I think that game that that series is gonna go to seven. But mm-hmm. whoever wins that series is coming out of the West. Because of their speed and ability to shoot the ball. And they can defend. Okay, here's my here's defend. my devil's advocate. Let's say the Nuggets I'm I'm not even going to talk about the Nuggets, right? You got other team you got Clippers, Lakers. Who else is in the West? Clippers, Lakers. That's the only ones that I feel Clippers, like are Clippers, Lakers, Suns. So Suns are probably not making it out. I think so. If we got Lakers, Clippers, right? Let's say either way, Warriors win, they got a matchup against LA one of the LA teams mm-hmm. whether it's the Clippers or the Lakers and I think that is a pretty evenly defensive matchup but then again you look okay let's swap it for the Kings Kings are fast they're probably faster than the Lakers for sure absolutely maybe not the Clippers with certain players because like Westbrook and, and De'Aaron Fox that's a good matchup I take that yeah 
But what 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 are the other pieces that are gonna make put Kings over or are they gonna put Clippers over? Like if Paul George isn't playing, Clippers I ain't got a chance. I don't think against against the Kings. I don't because you got Kawhi and you got Russ. Okay. Great start against the Kings. I don't think the against Clippers the have a chance. I don't think they without PG. Without PG, if you put if you give me PG, it'd be a good series. Might go to seven games, maybe. Uh, no, I think the the Kings would win that in five. You don't think the the Clippers would be? Or you think you don't think the Nuggets would beat the Clippers? I think the Nuggets would sweep the Clippers, honestly, because so if they would sweep the Clippers. I, How I just don't think they would get past. Matchup? I don't I think the they Kings. get past the Kings, bro. <laughs> because the, I let's think see the if Kings, the Golden State gets past the Kings. Here's the thing: I think the Kings will get past the Clippers, and I think the Kings would also get past the Nuggets. But they got to get past the Warriors first. Yes, if that's what I'm saying. The, Warriors, the winner of the Kings and Warriors <laughs> is going coming out of the West. You don't think anyone's beating the Warriors if they beat the Kings? I don't think anybody's beating the Warriors. Oh. Wait, they just got Andrew Wiggins back, bro. That's all they did. They had the dude that they were missing. They've been playing weird basketball without him. That's why I think that it would be a better matchup between the Nuggets and the Warriors than I think that it would be the Nuggets and the Kings. I think the better like the better matchup it would be between the Nuggets and the Warriors. Again, it would be a rematch from last year, but they have a healthy Nuggets. It'd be fun. It'd be a fun because matchup. Because last year, they just rolled us because exactly that. They had Andrew Wiggins, and nobody could guard him because they didn't have – we didn't have Aaron Gordon yet. We didn't have – a healthy MPJ was out. Was Aaron Jamal, Gordon, he played for the Nuggets last year. Yeah, but he was injured. Okay. Ish last okay. year, like he was still playing, but he was just injured. Like he had like all kinds of injuries going on. But this year, like they didn't have for sure. They didn't have MPJ and Jamal Murray. So they did have Jokic and they did have Aaron Gordon. Aaron Gordon can't shoot. That's his problem. Jokic was tired because he didn't have his two man game going with Jamal Murray, and he couldn't get it going with Aaron Gordon because he would throw. What'd you throw say? Lobs. Huh? Jokic was what? Couldn't get his two man game going with with uh, Yo, Kitcher's what though? What you said the T word? Tired. Yeah, it's he exactly what would happen if the Warriors and the Kings played the Nuggets. They would tired. wear out Jokic running up and down the court. Jokic don't want to do that. He does it though. He don't want to do it day in and day out. He don't. Mister Triple Double. <laughs> that man doesn't get tired. He, don't he do finds it. a way to win. Okay, but that's true. He's tired. <laughs> he gets tired when he didn't have help. Yo. But now he has help. He has his best two. He's got that. No. We're going to have to see. We're going to be filming these podcasts every week. And I'm going to just be like, what I tell you? I'm going to be like, Wee. what did I tell you? When the Nuggets are standing on top of the Western Conference and they're playing for the finals. Hey. Against the whoever. If the, nuggets, if the Nuggets make it to the Western Conference finals. And they see the Warriors. You gonna write me a public apology? Or the Kings. And they whoop whichever one they We're play. We're gonna watch every single game together, just so I can see your ass be that fired up. I was so sad when last they lose. year. Last year I was so sad <laughs> because we were we were on a hot streak where I was like, yes, the Nuggets, let's go. We're winning. We're winning. We're winning. We play the Warriors. Every game I just felt my heart just like every game they're like, wow, they sh- they just picked us apart this Next is what game. happens when you root for your hometown team the roller coaster of emotions that's true you ride this but the nuggets haven't been good in so long like so competitive like the last like five years they've been like right there they've been like one two lucky shift games swing games away from getting to the conference let finals. me ask you something real quick okay here it comes you seem to love the nuggets so much you're from you're from you're from Colorado. That's that's your hometown team. Correct. Do you feel like you are seeing these playoffs with clear subjective eyes or Good question. Are you letting your feelings, your personal feelings about the 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 state of Colorado being in the position that it's in right now? I think stats don't lie. That's all I know. Stats don't lie. We are the number one team in the Western Conference. That's not just for looks. Okay. That's not just for it's show. Not for show. No. All the Colorado people backing them up too, huh? Because they know it. They know better. <laughs> they just they know because I wouldn't be saying this if we didn't have Jokic. If if Jokic was injured, I'd be like, yeah, okay, better luck next year. Yeah. Better luck next year. 
if we were missing Jamal Murray, if we're missing any one player that we currently have right now, I'd be like, better luck next year. Yeah. But we're at full power now. You got all the hope in the world because you're at full power now. We're at full power. You hey. ever seen Power Rangers? I have. Yeah. You know what a Megazord is? Yes. If you don't have one of the, the Rangers, <laughs> he's he's missing an arm. That's true. Missing a leg. Yeah. Missing a head. Yeah. We have all five. All five. We're going to have to shut it down because we got to be back in the clinic in just a minute. Well, this was, we literally <laughs> just talked about basketball, but it was a passionate conversation. And I got a bunch of homies that have been like, you need to talk about basketball more. I was like, okay. Let's do it. Because we talked about basketball. We usually talk about it for like brief yeah. periods of time and then like the rest is like different stuff. But this was like a full episode, a full episode. dedicated to basketball for mm -hmm. the NBA playoffs. So let us know your predictions. If you don't watch, if you don't watch basketball, well, we hope you enjoyed the dialogue yeah, and just yeah. the general banter because that was a good conversation. It was good. We got the Nets Sixers tonight on TNT at 6.30. Is that the only game on tonight? No, and we got the Warriors-Kings game two. We get to watch the Warriors get it together. Hey, bro, don't be hating on the champs. They ain't going to be the champs this year, I'll don't tell you Don't be that. hating on the champs, not bro. They the are champs still the champs. I put, until, I put five of the teams um, over there. Until there's a new champion Celtics, crown. Bucks, the, the, the Warriors Nuggets, are still Lakers, the champs, bro. Suns. All those teams could beat the Warriors. All those teams are going to beat the Warriors. All those teams, it's not going to be the Warriors. Until that happens, but don't sleep on the champs. We just got wigs back. You know why? Because Steph's tired. Steph ain't tired. Steph is tired. He's that old. joker ain't tired. His ankles are weak. Oh! <laughs> yeah, he said that. Oh! No, he got the record. He got the weak ankle. He got the record. He's done, man. Yo. He's trying to go back to Davidson, man. He don't want to play no more. Bro. He's over it. He's, over it. he's like, damn it, Clay. Bro, he's going to win another You ain't a splash, splash bro anymore. You splash grandpa right he's now, gonna man. Win he's another Jackie Moon. He is not a. You obviously are not watching the Warriors games because that boy is still moving like he's in his 20s. Yeah, he never stopped moving. But his ankles can only do so much, you know. His back's back. You got to jinx this guy. Watch what watch him. Watch him. Watch it. Watch something crazy happen. And then De'Aaron Fox as well right goes down and then the Nuggets have just a clear path, like right to the just mm -hmm. give me the trophy. Trip back to back MVP. You could have just said that from the beginning. Like that's what you wanted to happen. I mean, I, I want the Nuggets to win. I mean I don't want anybody to get hurt, but like you're not thinking objectively. He's thinking with his heart. No, I'm not. He's thinking with his heart. I, I don't want He's them. Not only with his want heart. them to win. Statistically, <laughs> Jokic's player average percentages on the court when he's compared to when he's not on the court is the most in the NBA. Like the most in NBA history. His, his you know. Hey, we love y'all. We're going to sign out. Because Advanced stats. Don't lie. <laughs> Advanced stats. Don't lie. We love y'all. Appreciate you. Feel the burn. Oh, we did. We did this whole episode without energy drink. That's why I was yawning in the very beginning. That's true. I'm tired. We need. We need to go get some coffee right now. We're gonna go grab some coffee. Go see some patients. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for coming back to another episode of the GTP podcast. Good to a podcast. We gotta go back to work. Bye.